Tozo Basics. Today, what is chromatography? That's a good, yeah, what, what is it? Does anyone have an idea? Uh, uh, no. Pay attention now. Here we go. Okay. Here, we have a bunch of leaves. Mm -hmm. Chromatography can tell you what type of leaves this pile is made of. Ah. Yes, well, for foliage, a piece of cake. But how about molecules? Well, it's not quite as simple. Exactly what this gentleman here thought as well. Mikhail Semyonovich Svet. He had the idea to investigate colored plant extracts from which he could isolate different dyes. Therefore, chromatography. To put it plainly, writing with colors. Ah. But how does it work? Look here. Here we go. Okay. Ah, uh, so. Try to imagine a raging river. Okay. It transports quite a lot of flotsam and jetsam. That's uh, sands, small stones, large stones. Now the speed of the flotsam depends decisively on one factor. Which factor? What is it? Yes. The nature of the riverbed. Ah. Depending on the surface, the friction of the flotsam changes and thus the speed of transport is affected. You can guess what happens. The different components of flotsam are transported at different speeds. Get it? Of course. Good. Okay. The specifications of the riverbed are crucial. It influences how the floating materials move in the river. The different components of the flotsam settle down at different locations, depending on their characteristics. Ah, that's the whole trick, well, or the principle of chromatography. Ah, good. Now, based on this fundamental, uh, well, basis, different types of chromatography have been developed. Wow, that's a whole lot. Look at them. Our riverbed, that is the surface on which the floating debris sticks to, is made up, in most processes, of small spheres, or beads. Ah, oh, okay. Now, in most cases, these beads are in a column through which the liquid, containing the compounds to be separated, flows. That's awesome. And this is how these columns look like in real life. Ah. Small columns for analysis. Hmm. Larger ones for production. Wow, impressive. But the result is always the same. You can pick out specific molecules from a lot of different products. That's fantastic. The quality of the process always depends on the quality of the riverbed. I mean, the quality of the beads. Ah. And that can be found where? Yeah, where? Here. Exactly. <laughs>